Now it's time to talk about one of the key components of Django, and that is apps. You should think of apps as components or pieces of the bigger Django project, right? So they're the little bits and pieces that can hold a good amount of code, um, but they're not like apps like on your mobile phone, right? So if you jump in to the code itself, we see that we already have some apps installed by default, right? So this is also where you'd put third party apps as well as your own, right? Um, this is pretty cool. So let's take a look at the default or built-in ones that we can look at. The very first one is called admin. And if I go into my project and type out admin, I'll see something like this, this Django administration, right? So I already have a username and password filled in because I use Django all the time, but you probably won't see anything in here yet, you know? And actually the question should be is like, how do I actually get in here? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my terminal. Notice that I have two terminals windows open. I have one that's running the server and then one that's just in the root of the Django project, also known as where manage.py is. You can see how I got there right there. So um, there's a couple things that definitely need to happen. First of all, I wanna make sure that I, when I run python manage.py migrate, I see something like this, right? I have a few apps on there that are built in. Those are there by default. Um, I don't wanna see errors here, essentially, but you definitely wanna make sure that migrate is done because we wanna create our first user and that is python manage.py create super user. That one command will allow us to create a user that has access to the admin. This is not a regular user. This is just the ultimate super user, right? So the user that you'll end up using. In my case, I'm gonna use the username of CFE. I'm gonna leave a, the email address empty, and then I'm gonna type my password. Now, the password typing doesn't actually show up. Um, and also, when you're developing, when you're testing and you're learning, you can use whatever password you want here. It doesn't have to be that secure. It has to be secure when you go live, when you build a real project. That's when you really want it to be secure. So I've got my username here and my password, in my case is just learn code, all lowercase, and I can actually log in to this admin. Okay, so what I did here was I actually created a user that's actually in the database. Django did all of that stuff for me. I didn't have to do anything really cool. So that makes things super easy, super user friendly. And that same action would happen regardless of the database. Pretty cool. So we actually just talked about the first portion or first two portions of built in components or built in installed apps, right? That's auth and admin. Auth is that user, right? So I actually created that user. I created a super user. And then admin is what I just logged into. Right? So I can click on users and I can see more about this auth user. I can come in here and say, Justin Mitchell, right? And hello at teamcfe.com. And what do you know? That is my user now. I can save it. I can do all sorts of things in here inside of the admin. We'll talk more about the admin in the future, but it's really cool. I can also delete users. I can go back and create new ones. You know, there's a lot of built-in things about the admin that are really nice but this is all about the apps, right? The next few things, well, they're not relevant to us just yet. So what we wanna talk about is actually creating our own custom apps. So we've done some of the basics. Now let's do a custom app of our own and have it inside of the admin. When I say custom app, I mean our own data. So our own structure of data. Let's see what that looks like in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to get everything. I'm gonna be doing so much more on Django. So join cfe.com slash YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next time.